Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here for your weekly love reading. It's for August 22nd through 28th, 2022. We start Virgo season this week. We also have the Virgo new moon this week. And I had written on my calendar for this week, literally no more separation that the verdicts are in. And also that um, this is the age of Aquarius now. So there's been God's court system basically going on in the background and this is for delivering us from evil is what I'm hearing for judgment day and this is coming up so things are being rectified now um, so these third-party karmic all these things that incepted in between the two of you and your union are getting the verdicts being delivered so this is the process we've been going through um, and we're going to be witnessing this now coming forward as well as we're moving ahead in the months ahead in the, in the material realm. So there's this is God's judgments is what I keep hearing. So we've been judged, everybody's been judged, and we're being uh, rewarded or getting our karma sent back to us. So it's our dharma or our karma um, for the past efforts and deeds we've done. And that's why it's been so important to purify ourselves and change behavior patterns and these sorts of things and choose the most high God for your union first. And so ultimately we are receiving the divine counterpart through the most high God, through putting the most high God first as well. And this has been a big, big test for all of us is to not put the counterpart ahead of God because that would be idolatry, which is uh, one of the biggest sins against the most high God. It's what really upsets him the most and continue creating the 400 year curse of Deuteronomy, which we are now out of. So this is a slave trade is what I'm hearing. So we don't, we want to stop that cycle of our ancestors and now do it the correct way in accordance to God's rules, basically God's law and putting the most high first. And through the most high, we receive all of our things, including our union. So I think uh, most of us are at that point now with the union template. So let's see how this is unfolding with these literal no more separation this week. We've got chasing as the overall energy and then the queen of swords and the ten of wands. So this could be definitely what is with the queen of swords cutting out putting an end to with the Ten of Wands as well. It's been a long, hard road, and this is the end of that journey um, of the runner chaser scenario, I would say as well. It says a painful and overwhelming energy of wanting to connect with your twin so badly that it consumes you. Finding yourself becoming relentless, relentless, relentless in the pursuit of your twin. So this is, again, um, being in that lack unworthiness mode and not putting the most high first not not putting faith um through the most high so when we put that when we align ourselves to that way of union receiving union it really removes this chasing situation and replaces it with faith and true guidance from source so this is again like i'm seeing this is coming to an end here the queen of swords is really talking about you know there's no there's no more of this happening so it's like and I'm hearing it again, is verdicts are in. So she's come a punisher. It's like she's the holy, this is what is my Holy Spirit card too. Um, you know, for Passover, she comes in and destroys. And so it's the same energy. She's a powerful um, remover of what's not serving and delivering us from evil. So this is important for us to get what I'm seeing it right now is ultimately to get our power back. So this is again, like where your power lasts, you're giving all of your power away to some other person, um, which is draining, you know, draining you, draining your energy, your drive, and creating a lot of work for yourself that's unnecessary ultimately here. So let's see, and it, it really just creates more division ultimately as well. So uh, we need to have unification, right? So we've got the judgment for you towards the union, passion, beautiful energy, and justice. Amen to that. So we've got our justice, our verdicts are in. Um, judgment and justice, very, very, very powerful energies delivering you from um, possibly with the passion card. It could be just really like unhealthy chords as well. Um Again, I'm seeing it as your power, your power centers. So it's time to get your your power back, your prana back, your life force energy fully back to you. And so I think this is a recovery is what it feels like. An illumination is definitely happening here. 
I'm hearing it as a shift of ages. So this is again like part of being in fully in matured is what I'm hearing in the age of Aquarius. This is new earth, right? So, and in this new earth embodiment healed is what God is saying. So I'm hearing like reserving your energy now. It's, it's it, for your union. So This is uh, connected, like last week's readings had a lot of energy around finances and assets and you being self-sustainable and getting your, your wealth, your abundance, your stability, your health all coming from the most high, right? So this is now ensuring that this stays with you and you're not giving it away again elsewhere to somebody else. And I, I'm hearing it as like being depleted. So I, I'm feeling like this has all com come to a completion. And now it's like at the end and there's a stop to it. So you're not going to be going backwards into old patterns. You know, you've got all, everything back coming back to you now. And it's again, like not going to be leaving you and these things won't be incepting themselves and draining you i'm hearing it draining your bank account as well so it's it's um illusions so I, i'm feeling like somehow this chasing energy has been really depleting you your life in general and there's this like god is putting a stop to it here um, so we have denial, and this is a masculine self-protection by refusing to accept the truth with the king of wands and then the chariot card here. So again, this is like a, a lot of wand energy so far going on and your power, um, your energy, this leadership energy as well here. And things are moving quite quickly with the chariot card. So it's like you don't you ha it's important to accept this now and not push your position away, push your divine counterpart away any longer either by not accepting the truth. Um, I'm hearing like there's more logic in the mind, right? So this has been a big component of what's coming in with the Queen of Swords. This is logic and it's really helping you accept the truth and stop ignoring this has definitely been a process because god's now bringing me back to the omens and how like in june and like how he's been processing through us the veils of illusions here and i think a lot of the brainwashing in the twin flame community that's programmed um into us at the beginning stages of union you know this is like the twin flame and we we go down that whole rabbit hole and learn from that um inception point um that running chasing is normal you know you the feminine wanting the union and the masculine is always running away from the union and the feminine is always chasing and doing all the stuff and it's like that's i'm just hearing it's not normal and it really puts you in a position, continues to put the feminine in a position of lack, whether you're male or female, and unworthiness. So, and the masculine above her. And this is a time of equality. The age of Aquarius is the feminine age. So it's like really important to persevere through this timeline I'm hearing. And get your power back. There's something happening um, with the hands again, I'm seeing, and I think more healing. You might feel like <clears throat> a lot of heat coming through the hands this week as well. There could be more purification happening through the body. It's all going to get your power back though. So this is where the wand energy is happening for you as well. It's just like the Holy Spirit is that fire purifier. So she will, the, and I'm hearing it as the Kundalini awakening, like she will wake up that life force energy prana and she will get that power back for you and she's she removes with her fire what is attached and inside the body and that's why it can be so painful when it you know that that kundalini rising happens and that fire purification happens but it's transmuting 
um, all the darkness is what I'm hearing specifically. So there could be more of that activity going on that you're feeling and you can feel the heat coming out of like your feet, your hands, um, the root chakra, the crown, um, just because it's pushing out your energy channels ultimately as well. So this could be going on this week. It's just, just know that that's helping you move forward. Um, there's like a very quick sudden change is the way I'm hearing it. Like with the judgment card, the justice card, the chariot card, things coming to a completion here. There's a sh quick, uh, it just feels like this Passover energy, like the Holy Spirit's coming in and she's going to destroy what needs to go here to, like, put, to put a final ending to this. So for the blocks, we've got the nine of swords. So this is something within yourself, right? That your mind, I think is part of this brainwashing, walking away and then being that empress. Okay. And now I'm getting shivered. So like goosebumps happening here. It's like the last of that brainwashing has to go here, walking away. And so I'm hearing it's like deciphering the, the evil is what I'm hearing, like all evil. So lack, God want, is raising you up to, this is the highest order, the feminine, the empress, the creator, the creatrix. This is again, the holy grail, the alchemist. And this is who you naturally are. This is what we've been attaining for the you in the tribe here as well and to hold this position this very powerful position i think this is connected to virgo season here as well um so don't don't let these mind what you've been told about chasing unfortunately it's um coming down to this this week, but it's like whatever residual kind of thoughts around that or subconscious thoughts around this, that mental chatter, it's, it's, it's helping you release these falsehoods ultimately. So, and leave them behind. So this is what the block is for you to overcome and get back into your position here um, of being on your throne with your crown on and being in your power, like the feminine within you being fully in her power and owning it and not letting the ego, the falsehood, the veils control you any longer and keep you depleted. And not, you know, in the opposite of this. And I think this is where it's like been going on here for a long time. This is the end, right though? So it's like we've been attaining this and layer by layer by layer. I'm hearing it's like important to rise above it. Important to rise above it this week. And you have help. So it's it's all going to, I say it's like all about your power. Um, anytime that you feel powerless in this area, pulling it back, giving it to God, that's 100% the easiest way to get your power back. Opponents are no more, I'm hearing with that because it's like, you can't control so many things and just with multiple sectors of life. Anytime you have fear, words, I give this to you, God, to resolve, to show me the way, like show me what to do. You know, it's like it, when we take that pressure off of ourselves and doing it by ourselves and allowing the most high to do it for us, um, sending in the Holy Spirit to help us, uh, showing us the way, getting guidance directly from the most high, that takes everything off of us here because he's in charge. So you don't have to do it alone here. And this energy that I, I'm hearing, like you've been stuck in, these are falsehoods. So it could be big, it could be small. I, I know we're all at different layers with this. Um, because things are happening now, like things are quickly moving here, like no more separation, literally. So this, these things in the mindset are keeping the separation going, keeping you in a position of being the opponent and overworked and depleted. So your final action steps, amen. The world card with independence and then the hangman. Okay, so this is the, what it is, is the revelation for you to get to free yourself 
completely for yourself and get this independence and put a final ending to however big or small this is in your mindset belief system subconscious mind um, is coming to an end this week I'm, I'm just seeing it, it's going to help you get balance. And again, it's like the, the heart and power centers, the solar plexus, sacral chakra, heart chakra. Oh, free from illusions is what I'm hearing with that. It could, opponents are no more. It's like, it could be something about getting your, your um, energy back into your body fully, like your feminine power, the, a recovery of all of this is coming back in. Um, so you might feel more with these ending here and conclusions, feeling more powerful. And I just feel like there's some sort of illumination that will be happening in the consciousness because of the hangman card just kind of confirms that. Um, it just might be small or big epiphanies or understanding or overstanding and conclusions and closure and final knowing, not just... Um, some things I hear is like, I'm not sure if that's my person or not, but I am going to just continue forward, whether it's them or not. I'm still like choosing myself. I'm choosing the most high God. And so I think like just that I'm not sure part um, is what's going to clear up here. Like there's going to be a sure, you're going to know for sure. And I think that's setting a lot of people free here to stop wondering It could be like a more of a, t a test of surrender as well. Like, can you just put a final end to this and completely surrender it to God as well? This is the passage is what I'm hearing. Like, this is the big test. <laughs> the big union test is putting the God first, like I said at the very beginning of the reading. And it does feel like this is the end of that exam. I am seeing like the, there's cert certifications here with these two wands that she's holding and there's fire at each end of them. Um, so again, more fire. I, th I, th I think with all this happening here um, and he's covered in half ice and half not, right? It's like this fire purification will be clearing away to really help you get this clear understanding this week. And so whatever this final death is what I'm hearing. So whatever this final death that needs to, that's still carrying the separation, and I'm hearing it as a twin flame template for you, is going to come to an end. And closure is what I'm hearing as well. So it could be simply closure. You, you don't have, you haven't had that final closure from that timeline and those, that, that school, that lesson. And now you're getting that final closure and pe like peace with it um, or it more be might be more like if you are really go still hanging on to clinging on to this uh, some somebody that you need to be walking away from because you're, cha you're it's just a runner chaser test um, then that will be more you, to, to be more self-sufficient is what I'm hearing it as because um, your counterpart wants you extremely independent and self-sufficient and relying on yourself and sovereign and an empress like they just this is extremely important to them um, and they've created this <laughs> again is what I'm hearing like they, they really manifested you to be this sovereign divine feminine Christ and standing in your power and not um, draining from them ultimately here as well and being like this en energy towards them they just do not want that at all um, they want you both to be sovereign so let's see where their cards are at towards you we've got the knight of swords with the page of pentacles here so new looks like some new information new opportunities messages coming in um, and then signs. So there's the messages. So there's definitely something that says, I, and I said, I love you. Um, so it looks like they're ready to come share more of these messages. It could be messages are, I think they're ready to move forward here. This chariot card and this knight of swords, um, stagnations no more is what I'm hearing. And I'm seeing the uh, snow melting in this card here as well. It's just like, 
uh, you know, the drawbridge is open. The, the, it's like he's been waiting. This masculine here has been waiting. We had that last week where he's just persevering to help you get really sovereign and independent and stable in your own life. Um, and holding space for this upgrade. And I'm seeing it's like now more, okay, you're ready. This ending's happening now. I can come in. So it does feel like they're going to come in with some messages. Communication of some sort. I'm hearing it as information as well. So this could be information coming to them to get going. Um, to communicate this. This communication, because we've got the Queen of Swords, is uh, the overall energy could be coming in for them around your union as well. They're getting more, um, they're grounding this in within themselves. So it could be definitely, yeah, they're getting this inform fluid. The information is fluidly coming through them now around you and your union. It's grounding in through them. So whatever sort of blocks that would have prevented this information from like digesting into them um, is over. And they went through the very big process of being surface level to going to deep into love and like the soulmate and like loving what's inside of you rather than just the surface. And it's been a big process of healing that they've been going through here. Eradicated the devil is what God just said. So it's like, the surface level is like over for them and now it's like uh because all these clearings have happened they're actually really grounding in this information of your union i'm hearing god say it's time to come home beloveds and so they know this within themselves this is a deep again i'm hearing like original piscean age union contracts that have come to a closure which we've done in the extended readings so it's very deep Ancestral wounding is also what I'm hearing. So there's a big shift happening now. Amen to that. And it's going to help progress everything forward. So there's definitely like intuitive communication, wisdom, Holy Spirit, wisdom coming in, helping them grandeur, life of grandeur. So there's something about expansion now that they're ready for and ready to get moving on this. Like that that's, could be where the pentacle is for them. Um, it's a lifestyle as well. Okay, so it seems like they're ready to get moving. Definitely ready to get moving. And this is like understood within them. It's integrated basically is the word I should say. It's like fully integrated into their body as well. Energy body. Um, so we have the justice card here for them. Beautiful. So you both have the justice card. I'm um, coming through heartbreak and then the six of cups. So this is illusions is what I'm hearing it as. So these were like their, their wounding that they've had to process through here as well with past relationships. Again, this ancestral things as well. Genetics, pa these past timelines. So it's all coming to a closure. And what these heartbreak wound wounds had done for them, and this even came from mother, father as a child. So this is the way it like in, incepted itself to have them shut down and be surface level was through this heartbreak wounding. So that's where this bit massive healing has happened for them. And it's, it's deep, um, deeper than just this lifetime. It looks like that they've finally cleared this out of them, out of their mind. And heart chakra is what I'm hearing specifically. There's closure happening for them. Amen to that. So that's where the Ten of Wands, the ending is for them, is closure. And that could have been where they were the runner, you know, running away from into intimate love and unconditional loving union. Heartbreak wounds are no more. God just said with that. So it's truly like they're they're more ready. They've integrated the 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 love, the emotions, the feelings, the connection. Um, they've grounded it in. So they're stable in this, you know, they're a stable counterpart, they're solid. And this is all cleared up this week. This is where the justice is, like God's bringing this justice, divinity is what I'm hearing. They're going to love the divinity within you, the divine being that you are. Like, so the more, the more you're healing yourself and purifying and cleansing and having this, 
frequency come out of you of the Holy Spirit and this Empress and all the purification, it's like they love that energy that you carry, this energy template of the Empress. Um, you know, she attracts, she attracts, she doesn't chase. She calls in what she wants into your life with like very little effort. And this is the Empress is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, it's literally. Um, so this is truly like your counterpart is ready for that. I think part of that would, in the past would have like really been scary for them as well. Um, but now they know they're an equal match is what I'm hearing to that frequency. Divine masculine and feminine Christ. Amen to that. So it's like they've, you're both rising up. This is where it's like the separation we can look at it as the like this lower vibration the third dimension of these earth school lessons and now we're being risen up into this higher timeline and energy and dimensional reality and that's where the unification field is um and you two are more of a match now on this freq in this frequency and in this reality so beautiful energies or blocks we have is abandonment again that's where the heartbreak wound is um feels left out codependency and fears of being left with the magician card and then the pr prince the prince of chalices it is a female though in this card um i'm hearing like okay so what i'm hearing is the, this third party karmic this, that would take hold of them and keep them separated from you is over, okay? And like they're being taken. And again, I'm hearing these are deep past timelines, original Piscean age contracts. So they could have been from that, these original t timelines of the Piscean age, they could have been repeating these contracts. And because you guys are primordial, pre this destined, um, predestined union, it's, it's like your contract was prior to that. And then these contracts came in during this timeline and at the very beginning. And I think it's been a, con it's been a show is the way I'm hearing it as like a constant battle, um, of separation. So And then again, it happened through these abandonment wounds in this lifetime, pulling them away and it would just keep them stuck. And so now the Most High and the Holy Spirit here are taking them away from that. So they're gonna get all of their power back here as well. Uh, these two cards really feel similar to me. And he's also got like this contract with the fire burning at both ends in this card, you know, and it's, it's, it's an as above, so below energy. So there is a lot of balance coming in. I'm hearing it as like un union with you. So this, what's going on is like the, the C point problem here of this has is coming to an ending this week for them and collapsing with the old time like as old earth collapses this is collapsing and because it's like now more than ever we're in this age of aquarius with the virgo new moon this week it's like forcing the collapse of these old structures to occur so we should see that on multiple areas of the matrix collapsing um, but for the two of you, it's really bringing you to freedom here to ascend into this high vibrational union. So these old earth contracts and relationships are not in this high vibrational union template. So they, they have to be, they're being forced out now, basically, of the two of you. And past lovers is also what I'm hearing. It's just like removing. So there's like this um, life of grandeur I'm hearing again. They are also going through a purification process. And as this purifies, again, I'm seeing it. Things are getting simplified for them is what I'm hearing right now. But I'm seeing the energies like coming, able to come through them in all the way 
into their earth star chakra like just through their entire energy body where before it would just get stuck um, it gets stuck at the heart you know this information couldn't flow through them the energy body they couldn't get into the toroidal field um, the union field so now this is t totally all the blocks are cleared here the, so the, what I'm hearing is this ma these messages are coming with the magician card for them it's like as this removes itself the information of creating continuing on and creating this life of grandeur with you and the love and the information is coming in quite quickly for them so that they can cr create this now with spirit they can continue on creating this union and so it feels like it's shifting from um yeah and i'm hearing like because you that we're move, being moved into this higher vibration um they've been focusing on this is the counterpart i want this is the kind of person i want to have a relationship with a life with now it sounds more like okay this is the union i want this is i'm now they're more focused on now bridging the two of you back together versus just focusing on what they want um that sovereign independent p partner that they want you to be here so that, that <laughs> I'm hearing that work is done. It's been going on since March, April, May-ish. Um, so it's been very important to them. And they've had to go through their own process of healing partners that would drain them. So this is why and, and, and um, fear, of, fear of getting back into a relationship again and having shared assets with somebody, which would be like getting into a marriage type of arrangement. Um, after they've had so many losses from relationships in the past that have affected them financially and foundationally and these sorts of things. And they just, I think it really turned them off of having a, a deep and meaningful relationship. They just, surface level would, would be easier. And so they process through that whole thing. And at the same time, they've, they've created this version of you that's coming to also a full completion here. I'm hearing it like a full stop and ending, like things are um, manifested, as God just said with that. So you're, this independence is being manifested in you this week. It's one and done. I'm hearing like illusions of these false counterparts are over. So it's, I think a, this is going to be a freedom for a lot of people that have been confused. And finally, there's like really clear, definitive, knowing happening here um amen to that so but we i think it's been a process so just any kind of final decisions coming to a completion here wow they also have the world card in their final ending as well so beautiful you both are putting an end to the old world old earth old systems completely ready for this new age of aquarius new earth um, they have the high priestess card here as well which is again talking about this divine communication entering into them here they're wiser they're connected they're grounding this information in their power i think they're more powerful in it as well good we've got the king of swords we've got the king and queen of swords in this reading um so that's wonderful to see i i feel like this is a big power couple energy that their final outcome is that and it's basically like you are also being an equal match so in the mindset like you two are becoming an equal match on this level this week through these endings happening and then we also have stability and this is where it's been very important for them and this again brings me to the grounding you know getting this inf information fully into them and this truth and so it's like beautiful truth and understanding here So this is what they're going to create from is this intuitive knowing this uh, high priestess mode is what I'm hearing it as like just this was actually being integrated in the two of you quite a bit a couple weeks ago. So I'm hearing it as like God's plan and now it's like really manifesting here. It's coming into coming coming into union is the way I'm hearing it as. So this is going to replace this nine of swords in accuracy. I'm hearing that as. So you're going to have accuracy now, logic. 
you're going to move ahead just fully knowing you're not going to you know deny the truth any longer you're 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 owning the truth you you know you're you're independent in the truth the truth has set you free and you're running ahead knowing the truth as well and so are they it's really really good so you guys aren't going to be fooled any longer manipulated taken advantage of um separated god just said there's no more separation <laughs> literally <laughs> okay so the final outcome for the two of you we've got impatient this is the feminine with the hangman card and then the sun so um because this is uh a, a, could be the feminine and the masculine coming into this balanced energy here with these illusions coming over um, and because this masculine walking away card in your reading too. So I think it's important to get that balance. And again, I'm, the two power centers, the masculine and feminine power centers, uh, getting this unification happening on both energy fields of this truth and logic and knowing. So your final outcome and the overall energy's final outcome is the hangman. So this week is really about getting that clear knowing setting yourselves free from the illusions now and getting grounded and stable in this information and this is what the sun card is and there's like roses in the background of this card um there's roses in the background of this magician card here as well so i just feel like the feminine the sisterhood of the rose the holy spirit you embodying that and all this masculine and feminine teamwork is happening here so the feminine being impatient here it's important to know like yes is it you know i can see why there's some impatience happening here the, the feminine could be rushing the masculine in channeling both of you to heal this up and stop denying this truth and walk away from it here so i think this could be a component within yourself that you might notice it's coming more from the masculine channel um or getting the masculine and feminine balance within somehow here. Opponents are no more. So the, the union is definitely completed within yourself. Rectified is what I'm hearing it as. Um, I am seeing there's somewhat of a portal happening with the sun card for this. It might be on the 828 day, August 28th, which is Sunday, final completion. So it could be this the day after the new moon could bring this um final ending with the world card for the old earth the age of pisces okay um and then it's like you two are able to move ahead by the end of the week um i am seeing that like this has been going on since may june july august i think this is where this impatience is also is it's definitely taking time to get to this level of awareness but just like think about where you were at in the consciousness like i can personally say for myself like holy july's been intense it's been like so much going on in the brain and i'm the dimensional shifting and being in a new reality and the 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 the, the, the matrix not like i don't even sense it anymore i don't feel it i don't feel the collective anymore um I just I I can feel like I've been completely removed from that timeline and it's easier to just not go back to that and engage in it and when I hear things about what's going on or these agendas it doesn't like before I was like well we got to pray that off and now it's like shh, you know like oh, that's not for me and um those, those aren't my lessons anymore you know they're, 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 those are for somebody else and i just can keep more forward focused on new earth and cre creating this when where before the summertime that was a lot more challenging for me personally so i i i think there's been a lot going on here that's helped us like divine intervention and this awakening ha happening and all the schumann energies is like high vibrational light codes coming in to helping us and the subconscious mind healing and the trauma wounds healing the ptsd healing all these things it's just definitely felt like a final ending to all these past years of processing that we've been going through here so 
and karmic relationships as well and like having forgiveness and closure so this is I'm hearing it as a final ending to cabal slavery for you. So being a slave to this twin flame assignment and lesson and embodiment is over. Like you graduated and this week is helping bring the two of you up into this new age of Aquarius union, back into union, back to your primordial union. So it's like you've totally overcome this entire Piscean age and back to this original template for the two of you as well. So you're gonna, I'm hearing again, holding in on your finances. So there's just whatever this can be for you to be completely independent, your chariot awaits, God just said with that. So I think you're at the, definitely at the end of that to, be taken home this could be like the Merkaba field and being risen up into this union through the the Merkaba being the chariot here as well so it does feel like again like the, the judgment days are here and what happens in the day of judgment right so this is biblical and God sets us free the chosen children are all going to be redeemed now right during this time of judgment. So we've been waiting for the rapture and then we can reunite back home together in the promised land, amen to that. So um, we will be working with the hero's journey card deck for the two of you to get to the end of this um, long journey of reunion that the two of you have been on and the end of separation for the two of you. So we're gonna continue on with these energies for the two of you this week. So. Uh, if you'd like to join me in the extended reading, what we do is light language, God code healing, as well as get additional cards so you get a deeper reading. And then we also, for both of you uh, individually and your union through all space, time, and dimension, we clear, heal, activate, and align the two of you and all the energies that we're moving through for this week. For the two of you, these are infinite, these are quantum and continue on past this week until they're done and complete. So it's just part of your um, powerful words of saying yes and as co-creating together in the extended readings that this comes to fruition for the two of you. So if you'd like to join us, the Vimeo link is down below. I also provide all these readings if you are a weekly watcher in the 144 membership portal. Within the portal, you can access these at a discounted price as well as access archived videos just all at one monthly price in the portal as well. And then you also get daily healing from me. We do daily God code healing as well as biofeedback, scalar wave energy healing. So two healing modalities daily to support you. You can add family members, your pets. Um, so these are two healing modalities that will support you heal, evolve, grow, and um, everything's unique each day of the month. So it's all coming from the most high God, whatever will serve us most uh, daily to get through this ascension process and help us uh, move through these energies quicker with ease and grace as well. So if you'd like to become a member, you can also access all my content within the portal and connect with other tribe members. It's a social media app as well that you can download onto your phone. So if you'd like to join us there, the link is down below for that. I do a daily card reading as well, Monday to Friday. It's on Instagram telegram and youtube and a weekly newsletter with more information that's through my website if you'd like to subscribe and receive that to your email inbox it's through my website at 144godcode.com god bless you thank you so much for joining me and have a very very blessed week take care